Hello everyone and welcome to Robotics and Mechatronics Tutorials. In this tutorial I will explain how to resolve one very annoying issue with Arduino serial monitor. Namely, if you're trying to visualize a signal whose limit, or better to say whose value, is changing dramatically, then you will experience this issue. For example, you can see right now the scale over here. We can see that the scale is from minus 2.2 to minus 2.8 and the scale is relatively fixed. However, what happens now if I change the signal value? For example, if I go to this value, you can see that I went all the way up from 80 to 81. However, you did, you're not seeing the absolute values. You're only seeing the absolute changes or uh, the main changes when the changes occur. You'll just see this level. The issue with this is that this axis is dynamically changed and this is something that you don't want. You want this axis to be fixed during plotting and let's learn how to resolve this. Unfortunately, there is no direct way to resolve this in the software. Actually, there is. However, you will have to modify certain Arduino files and then you will have to recompile Arduino on your own computer. And this is something that you don't want to do. Instead, I will show you one very nice trick. By the way, what you're seeing over here are inertial measurement units, measurements of angles. And you can see over here how the angle is changing behind the scenes. I'm actually moving or rotating my Arduino with an inertial measurement unit sensor. To solve this issue, go back over here to your script. And here is where I plot the value. Now, what I will do over here, I will uncomment this line, and this uh, line will constantly plot a constant line. One line will be at minus 90, and another line will be at 90. These are my desired axis limits. And then I'm going to simply print something like this. I'm going to save this, then I'm going to upload this, and then now, if I open my a serial monitor, that is, or serial plotter, you'll see how nicely axes are fixed. This is because we are continuously plotting an upper line at 90 and a lower line at minus 90. And you can see over here our signal, how it nicely changes and there are no issues. Whatever happens, the axis is fixed. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.